In this video, I'm going to talk about the path from path lib package, and we are going to talk about a lot of attributes of it, and also we are going to talk about these kinds of things. And the explanation is going to be beginner friendly. So don't worry about anything. We are going to cover all the basics. So as you can see here, we are saying from path lib package, we want to import this path class. And here's uh, the path to our file, and we are passing it to this path class. And after that, we are creating a path object. And maybe you ask, oh, what do I mean by path object? You will see, please wait a minute. But the first question that you might ask is this. Okay, what is the benefit of using this? Because we know that Python has other stuff in it that we can use for paths. So what is the reason to use this path class from this path lib library, from this path lib uh, package in Python. What is the benefit of doing so? First of all, it has a lot of functionalities. It has a lot of methods that we can use. So this is the first reason. And also the second reason is that it is platform independent. It means it doesn't really matter whether you're using Windows, Mac, or Linux. So these are two main advantages of uh, this thing that we want to work with. But now let's talk about some properties, or let's say some attributes of this path. So first of all, let's print path.name. And if I run the code, you can see it gives us file01.txt, which is this part of this path. And by the way, instead of just simply printing, let's suppose that we want to print the representation of it. And if I run the code, you can see, yes, we can clearly see that it's a, it's a string. So I think it's better to use representation in this video because we can clearly see whether this is a string or other things because later on in this video, we will see that in some cases, we have some other stuff other than strings. But anyway, let's stick to this uh, rep r. It means representation because you want to print the representation of this thing. And as you can see, yes, it's a string. It clearly shows that it's a string. And inside that a string, we get uh, this part of the path. But now let's talk about the second thing. So we want to print path.stem. And if I run a code, as you can see, it gives us file 01. So this is a stem and this is the extension or let's say suffix. So this is a stem and this is the extension and the whole thing is the name of that path. And by the way, let's print the representation of it. So if I run the code, as you can see, this is the representation of it. So this is our stem and our path. And the third thing is the suffix. So here, if I print path.suffix, and if I run the code, as you can see, it gives us .txt. And if I print the representation of it, you can see that it's a string. So this is the suffix, or let's say the extension of our file, which in this case is .txt. So now let's talk about some other stuff. And let's add a comment like this so that we know that we are going to the next kind of topic. So let's suppose that we want to print the parent of our path. What do I mean by parent of our path? So as you can see, this part was the name of our path. This was the stem and this was the suffix. But this part is the parent of our path. So here, if I print path.parent, and if I run the code, you can see, yes, it gives us this part, which is uh, the parent of our path. But if I print the representation of it, and if I run the code, you can see now it is not string. Actually, it's a Windows path. And maybe you say, oh, why Windows path and why not, for example, string. Because as I've told you, this path is platform independent. It wants to be platform independent. It wants to work properly on Windows, Linux, or Mac. So that's why when it is a path, a path like this, as you can see, it's a path. So when it is a path, it wants to create an object. And if uh, the platform was Windows, it is going to create an object proper for Windows. If it was, for example, for Mac, it is going to create a path 
which is suitable for Mac. If it was, for example, something, if it was something for Linux, then it is going to create a path which is suitable for Linux. So that's why it is not creating a simple string. It's actually creating this object, which is, you know, platform aware. If it is Windows, it is going to create something which is suitable for Windows. If it is Mac, it is going to create something which is suitable for Mac and so on. But now let's talk about another thing as well. Let's print the path itself. And now if I run the code, yes, you can see it gives us the whole path. But if I print the representation of path, I think you can guess that it is going to, yes, as you can see, it is going to return Windows path. Why? Because as I've told you, now it's a path and it wants to be a platform, platform independent. So that's why in this case, it is going to return this kind of thing and not a simple and not a plain string. So there you go. Now let's take an example. And before that, let's comment all of these lines. And let's suppose we want to create another path and that path should be something like this for example file 01 underline flashcards dot x uh, x l s x i mean an excel file so in order to create such a thing such a path first of all we want to say okay path dot stem and it means this one and we want to add uh, that we want to add that we want to add underline flashcards dot x l s x so this is going to give us this part but we want to concatenate that with the parent as well so let's do that so this was uh the end of the path but we want to concatenate that with uh, the parent as well so here we can simply type path dot parent but there is an important note here and that important note is that you cannot use this plus symbol you cannot do so why because when you are concatenating strings yes in that case you can use this plus symbol for concatenating strings you can use plus symbol but when you want to concatenate something with these kinds of things these paths as you can see they are not strings they are objects so in this case you cannot use this plus symbol in this case you need to use slash so if you want to concatenate the strings yes you can use a plus symbol but if you are using these kinds of things in that case you need to use slash and maybe say oh but this part is a string yes i know this part is a string but this part is not string this is this kind of object so even if one of them is these kinds of objects you can't use this plus symbol because that is not a string plus is for concatenating strings so in that case you need to concatenate them concatenate them using this slash symbol and after that let's store the result in a variable for example named new path and now if i print the new path variable and if i run the code as you can see this is the new path and by the way you know that that if i print the representation of it now it's a brand new object it is not string why because we are using this path class from path library to create this path and in this library because it wants to be platform independent it is using these kinds of things instead of plain strings and let's see uh, a use case for this thing as you can see here i'm passing the path of a markdown file and i'm creating something called md path i mean markdown path and after doing some of some stuff and after capturing some stuff from that markdown file i want to store the result in excel format so for doing so i want to create an excel path so for doing so as you can see i'm saying okay i want that markdown path i want a parent of it and i want to concatenate it with markdown path that is stem plus underline flashcards dot x l s x so this is a use case which i myself used for one of my codes and here are two videos which i suggest you to watch as well and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this